Hi, the Samsung S3 Guru here, and today we're going to talk about the uh, video player that comes with your Sammy S3. Now, a lot of times when you get a new phone, you try and disable the apps that they give you because it's usually they're not very good, but you don't want to do that with the Sammy S3. These apps are actually very, very good, uh, enough that we're going to actually take time to go over each one of the apps. So the first one we want to do is the uh, media player. Let me actually go back through and put it in my alphabetical list because I won't be able to find it unless I do. Boom, 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 boom. And video player is here. There we go. So we go ahead and click on video player and when we go in, of course, we can look at thumbnails. And the thumbnails are actually very good. Not only are they thumbnails, but they're actually moving thumbnails, uh, which is actually good because a lot of times I have a video and I can't tell which video it is just by looking at the first um, the first frame. So this is actually very good that these cycle through. And it's actually kind of cool. If your friends are nearby and you put this on, you can actually see a whole bunch. Um, we certainly have a list. Uh, then we have them by folder. Okay. And we're gonna, we'll are gonna we just go with uh, thumbnails for the moment. Okay. So to play, actually, let's go by uh, folder. Because I know where the pieces are I'm looking for. So let's um, let's go through and take a look. So obviously, when I want to play a video, I can just go through. And actually, what I'm going to do here, you probably see me use this a lot in my demos. This is an iHome. Um, iHome normally makes stuff for for Apple, uh, but they decided that they were going to start making stuff for Android because we're starting out sell them. So they have this nice little dock, although it's not specifically made for the S3. It's actually made for any Android that has a USB in the bottom. So it actually has. I'll do, I'll do a review on this later, but basically. I've got my power and I've got a little speaker here, uh, a powered speaker. So let's go through and click on a, on a video. Okay, everything you'd expect to normally see. Um, I think it's nice that they, I can adjust the volume instead of having to find out where it is on the side. Okay, we have, um, you know, your fast, your, your next video, previous video, pause, play. Okay, so. Let's take a look at why I think this is pretty cool. Okay, the first thing we have is that we can change the aspect ratio. Now, most of you would not be making it this kind of a, a aspect ratio. However, in some cases you will. Um, but I just want you to know that it's there. Some videos actually come in wrong, and so it's you, to be able to click a button and have it change the aspect ratio is actually pretty good. Okay, native mode, and then just fill screen. Then, of course, you've probably seen this already, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. This is the pop-up window. So when we click on that, we're playing a video. It pops it up on a little window. And we can move around and continue to do um, whatever it is we want to do. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, what do you use that for? I use that all the time. What I do is I'll put the, maybe I want to watch this guy play the guitar. Let's go back so he doesn't stop playing when we're doing it. Okay. And um, while I'm doing this, I'll go off and I'll start reading my email. Okay. Because I can read my email while I'm doing this. Okay. And when I'm done, I just click on that. Opens back up. Okay. So, let's take a look and see what else we can do with this. Let's go to settings. It's a little tough to get at those settings. Okay, share to nearby devices. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. That's actually a very big one. And share via, we're going to, we'll get to that one as well. All right, chapter v preview. What it does is it breaks down your video into little sections, little chapters, wherever a scene changes. Not going to see a whole bunch in this, but in a regular movie, every time the scene changes, it will produce a chapter. So that's actually pretty good. So if you're looking for a specific part of a movie, uh, you don't have to uh, hunt and pack and scroll through it. Let me uh, go back here for one second. Okay. Let's go here. Let's go to our settings here. Okay. Uh, trim. You can actually, it's got a built in editor. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, but it's got a built in editor. Trim just means you can cut off uh, some of the beginning, some of the end. Video Maker. Talk about that later. That's your own Video Maker. Uh, where you can string things together and produce your own videos. Okay, video auto off, that's pretty self-explanatory. I go in, I can put this in, and I can say turn the, the player off, turn the viewer off, uh, after I'm playing 15 minutes, so on and so forth. And again, that's if you're one of these people that falls asleep uh, with your, with your uh, unit on. Okay, let's go down to settings, and in settings, first one that's probably one that's uh, very helpful is that the Video brightness normally is set to automatic, and that drove me nuts the first couple of days because I went in, I turned my brightness from my phone all the way up, and then I went to go watch a video, and the brightness dropped down, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And that's because it's in here, so there's a separate brightness for this. So if you want this to really, again, you can see how much different that made right there it was already on six. 
Okay, so that's how you can improve your. Now it's obviously going to take up more battery power, but I think you already know that. Okay, play next. We can say that so it'll automatically keep cycling through. That's actually pretty neat. And then we have play speed, and play speed will actually play at uh, one, one and a half, two, and I'm um, sorry, one. Well, let's see, one, one point one, all the way up to one five. Okay, now. One of the interesting things about this is that they have applied their algorithm which does not change the sound. It's faster, but it's still at the same pitch. So it's not like he's playing like a cricket, he's just playing a lot faster. Now, what's that for? You say, well, what good is that? Well, that's good. If you're, if you're watching a video that's uh, somebody explaining uh, some long, drawn-out thing and you need to watch it, but you wish this would go a little faster, now you can crank it up and you don't have to worry about listening to a cricket, it'll just sound faster. It's the same algorithm that they use. You hear a lot of these commercials now, and at the end they, they give all the terms to Trump, and he's like, wow, that guy talks really fast. No, he doesn't. They sped it up, but the algorithm brings the pitch down, so it compensates for that. Now, we can obviously go in the opposite direction, and the same thing applies. Pitch is still right, and again, you might say, well, why would I use that? Here's an excellent example. Perhaps I'm trying to learn how to play as good as this guy, which I would never be able to do. Um, I can at least now watch his fingers a little bit closer. I can even change that aspect ratio. Okay, so there's a couple of neat things right there that, the, uh, that it can do. And then the other one, let's just put that back where it was. One. There we go. Okay, the other one is that it has, um, if you have, uh, for playing a video with subtitles, you can turn them on and off within this. And again, the standard players on most of these phones don't have all of these features. So I just want to make sure you know that they're there. And then it also has Sound Alive, which is their, um, like, uh, their sound enhancement. So they actually have a couple of different ones. We have Normal Voice Movie and a 7.1. Um, so this is really good. So if you have your phone hooked up to either a set of headphones or to some powered speakers or something, you're going to get some, some pretty realistic sound. Okay, so the next one I want to talk about is this uh, show scan for nearby devices. And this is actually pretty neat. And in order to do this, I'm going to have to Actually, let's uh, bring up the screen, and I'm going to have to actually pull the camera back just a wee bit. Sorry for the shakiness. Hopefully you don't have motion sickness. And I'll pull this back just a little bit. Okay. All right. So what we have, and I have my little hat on here. Um, so what happens is, is when you scan for nearby devices, it will look, it will search your current network for near die devices that are what's called DLNA compatible. Basically what that means is that these are um, devices that we can literally share our media to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on share for nearby devices. It's going to say it's going to come back and it didn't find it. It says no devices were found and we're all set. Now, here's a quick thing that you can do. You're over somebody's house. Just as you're, if you're on their network, meaning they're, you know, they've got a, they're, they've got their PC and they've got a wireless router, Chances are it's all together. All you ask them to do is open Windows Media Player. Say, hey, Jim, yeah, you gotta, let's go by your computer for a minute. Okay, fine. Do me a favor, open Windows Media Player for me. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Now what? Now let's go by and scan for nearby devices. And now we got a, number, a, little, a little number one up in the corner because it found one device. There are, uh, any machine that's running Windows 7, just get them to open up the Windows Media Player and you're all set. This also works for with a whole bunch of different TVs and a whole bunch of different, just a gazillion devices, uh, not just Samsung's, but a whole bunch of other ones, which is why Samsung put this in. So now what we can do is we can play our video. Okay. Now let's push the number one. And it stops and it says, okay, what do you want me to, where do you want me to send this? Well, we only have one choice, and that's our Windows Media Machine. But again, if we were in a place that had a gazillion of them, we'd, we'd see them all. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. 
and it's going to say processing and it takes a little second or two and what it's going to do is they're going to handshake between the two and I'm doing this in real time and there it is and I actually can change the volume make it a lot uh, louder softer I can move through my video okay. I can pause Okay. Look how simple that was. Open up Windows Media Player, hit the number one, be on the same network, and now you can go ahead and, and show that off. You can do the same thing, by the way, in the gallery. I'm going to do a separate video on the gallery. You know what? I'm here right now. Let me just show it to you real quick because it, it is that simple. Let me just go to the gallery. I'll do a separate video on the gallery, but I want to show you the gallery since we're already here. And I could say, okay, um, let's see, let's see, I have some pictures here. Okay, here's some pictures. And I can do the same thing. If I go to settings, so I can look at them on my phone. There's pictures of me when I was little. Okay. Alright. And I can now, so beach pictures. <laughs> Alright, so now I can go to settings. Alright, let me just go back out. Yeah. Sorry, just tap on it. See the number one up top because it already saw the Windows Media Play. If it didn't, we could have said for scan for nearby devices. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on that number one before it fades out. Same deal. It says change player to this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. A little bit of handshaking takes place. And after a few seconds, there it is. Okay. So again, now I'm over somebody's house. I want to show them all the, the pictures I took while I was on vacation. Um, I don't have to upload, download, don't have to give them a website or anything like that. All I have to do is take out my Sammy S3, tell it to scan for nearby devices, click on the, the, the change player, pick the right device, and I'm up and running. So again, that's the... Sammy S3 video player with a little peek at the gallery. We'll do a special one just on the gallery. Again, I want to encourage you to, to subscribe to our videos, to visit www.thesamsungs3guru.com. And again, we have a great app, which is the S3 Guru app that you can actually find in the Android uh, Play Store or the Google Play Store or the Android market, depending upon uh, what you want to call it, what you remember it as. And that's a free app, and basically what we've done is taken all this stuff and put it into one little app that we constantly update. I'm surfing the web, you know, 24-7 looking for good stuff, and as soon as I get it, two seconds after I get it, I add it to that app, and that means that you have one place that you can go to. So that's it for now from the Samsung S3 Guru.